India is in advanced talks with Russia to acquire a newly developed light tank that could be useful in high altitude areas like the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh. And India will also take part in the trials of the system starting late summer. The need for such tanks was felt after increased Indian deployments at the LAC following border hostilities with China. India is keen on the 18-ton Sprut because it shares the gun of the T-90 tank and fires the same kind of ammunition. India is currently operating T-90 and T-72 tanks, which are also Russian origin, besides Arjun. While it is largely believed that the Russian forces have already inducted Sprut, and according to the sources, the tanks are still undergoing trials and are in the last stages of development. Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh spoke about India's need for light tanks during his visit to Russia in August 2020. And, Russia had offered India the light Sprut SDM-1 tanks during the visit of the minister. The move came as India had deployed the T-90 tanks weighing about 46 tons in Ladakh during the prolonged standoff with China. This was besides the T-72 tanks, which weigh around 45 tons, deployed earlier. And conversely, China had deployed its new lightweight tanks, Type 15, besides other armored elements. Meanwhile, India has also floated a request for information for 350 light tanks, which should not weigh more than 25 tons. The 18-ton amphibious Sprut SDM-1 is capable of being airlifted, parachuted, with crew inside and can even disembark from a ship. This weight criteria will rule out many of the light tanks currently available in the market. The capabilities of Sprut SDM-1 Sprut SDM-1 is the only light amphibious fighting vehicle in the world that possesses the firepower of a main battle tank with a 125mm main gun. The other unique feature is the ability to fire a cannon afloat. Other similar products are Chinese Type 15 light tank and the Turkish Kaplan medium tank. However, both these tanks have 105mm main guns, unlike the Sprut's 125mm main gun. Furthermore, only the Sprut SDM-1 can fire guided missiles and has a potent armament suite that includes a 125mm gun, a 7.62mm remote-controlled machine gun and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. The tanks on board guided missile weapon system can engage armored targets, including explosive reactive armor equipped ones at ranges up to 5 km besides being able to engage low-flying helicopters by the roof-mounted machine gun mount. The Sprut can also travel over a distance of 500 kilometers without refueling, and can be transported by military transport aircraft and landing ships, besides being parachuted with a crew inside the vehicle. The Sprut is a genuine light tank in terms of weight, but the Chinese and Turkish tanks are heavier, the trials would show whether it lives up to the promise or not. But as per report, Sprut would give greater mobility and combat edge over its rivals.